Everyone thinks that ranking up by pushing and getting 400 plus RP a game is an impossible task only pros can pull off. Guess what? They're wrong. I know you've been in a situation where you're queuing up in ranked and keep getting bad teammates and you're a plat or diamond stuck in a cycle of gaining then losing RP and never getting to the rank that you want. You'll get frustrated and continue to queue up into games wondering why you're hard stuck in your rank. I used to be in the same situation but what if I told you that anyone even you could start to get 400 plus RP games by these tips I discovered. By the end of the video you'll be able to start getting tons of RP and even reach the rank you want. I searched for five things TSM how did that turned him into the 500 plus RP gaining teammate blaming mic sucking CEO of Apex. But the truth is I don't really enjoy playing ranked at all but I have a loved one who is diagnosed with cancer. I want to show them that no matter what how much time you have on this earth you can accomplish anything. So I'm going to do the impossible from turning into a season 12 noob to an RP gaining machine in one week before her next appointment. When I was researching how streams videos and his creative insults he yells at his teammate I love one thought that i wouldn't be able to do it because only the top one percent will be able to pull off pushing team and i'm not a pro and to make things worse i'm on mnk maybe she was right though because how can my manual input keep up with these goofy ass people laid back in their chair with an ai ensuring at least 40 percent accuracy with a zero ms response time in simple terms she basically said i suck but hearing her say this really made me think maybe she was right about that i wasn't top one percent so how could I compete? Would it even be possible for someone like Demi to just instantly start getting kills and ranking up? That just seems so unrealistic. But even though I had this doubt, I remember being told to believe anything is possible. Why? Because if you think it's impossible, you'll never push yourself to reach an impossible goal. Now imagine you believe it's possible. All the work and energy you put in. So I decided to tell my sorry to get up and go hit the goal for her no matter what. Step 1. Secure a good drop and be fast with looting to shooting. Now ideally, if you want juicy RP numbers, then you should contest. But I'll always see players get two guns and continue to loot. Stop acting like prey and be the predator. As soon as you get two guns, take down your enemy with the element of surprise. Next, you'll want to get angles on enemies that allow you to do more damage than they can do to you. Because let's be honest with ourselves. If it's a decent controller player and you take engagements like this, then don't even queue into the ranked match, bro. Step 3, you're going to need good mix. By mechs, I mean mechanics. So I joke sometimes about roller on my channel, but I'm being serious right now because I love you guys. If you're on M and K and do not dedicate at least 7 hours, <clears throat> 7k hours, learning how to aim properly with good strafe and mouse control, then I can't see you beaming kids to get quick kills and ends fight fast. So just abuse steps too. But if you're one of those kids who puts Cheeto dust on the controllers while playing Apex, then just practice for one week and you should be able to just straight beam anyone you're going against. Now, if you're saying right now you can't beam on a controller, then I suggest you go get an IQ test because you may be on the lower end of the spectrum. Next is clear direct comms for your teammates. So don't do this. Do this. The last and final step is your awareness. Now, yeah, how are you going to do all this if you have no idea in. where your enemy is or what they're doing? For top tier right awareness, here, you can use visual and audio cues to get info on your enemy. If you have no eyes and ears, use Bloodhound or Seer. Use your comms and do not engage without knowing what is going on. Because things can't happen unexpectedly he's on, he's if you dead. knew about them beforehand. All this information I gained finishable? about gaining RP completely changed the way how I saw ranked. But it was still hard for me to They're actually get those high kill games so I could get huge amounts of RP. This, this yeah, I'm tired of this, bro. I felt like a fool for gaining all this info just to fail over and over. I thought about quitting and just try tomorrow or next week or even next month. But again, my goldfish Lucky, he never quit. Even on his dying fishbowl, he kept swimming until his little pea brain gave out. So if a low IQ fish didn't quit, why should I? Tomorrow isn't guaranteed, so the least I can do is try hard enough today for Lucky and my loved one. Once I realized this, I was able to get this. On your left, on your left, on your left. They now have white, so you're gonna push. Oh yeah, they got another angle. Wait, make some more space and lure them out. Yeah, they did. One's on this door, too. I'm gonna make more space. 
They're coming out. Make more space, bro. I only have white and it's two purples. Yeah, and he's gonna. Oh, I knew that was coming. I'm watching you keep running. Alright, get ready. Shoot back, shoot back, shoot back. One's on the right. I'm gonna bat on you. Open, open, open. I'm gonna hold the other door. Holding the other door. He's in, he's in. I cracked him. Alright. I knocked one. I put a Q up. This guy's cracked right here. This guy's really low. This shit. Following the five rules made it really easy to take out teams. Even with this AI on our team, for some reason their lifeline got scared and ran away to save the RP. Don't be like that guy. I'm not gonna lie, it looked like we were gonna die here, but this wraith was good for something with the shield. Nice. On this Only same day, 16. me and Ken were able to get multiple 400-plus like like RP games. If we can do it, anybody can.